Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shuchubai and we finally got news about the figure that was teased in last week's video and it was indeed SH Figure Arts Deadpool. Banda has finally released promotional pictures of the figure and there's a few things to talk about from these pictures. First of all, we got the bicep twist, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Bandai. I mean, I was concerned at first when looking at the first few pictures, but this picture here confirms that the bicep twist is present. However, it does look like he borrowed Spider-Man's thong design for his lower torso. I'm not sure how it looks from the rear as there was no butt shots, but from the front, it looks quite tight, if you get my drift. Squashing the balls now. Ooh, that does not tickle. One of my concerns from looking at the photos is how much he can actually crunch. I mean he has a long torso and typically figures with long torso has limited app crunching and this lying down position doesn't give out a lot of confidence but it's just speculation at this point and I just hope that this isn't the case with this figure. And I really really hope this figure gets a good app crunch because it's Deadpool. How can he not do an app crunch? Apart from that, I'm loving how he looks overall, and it seems that he's been given a lot of hand accessories to recreate all his famous hand gestures, however, and this is a big one. From the pictures, it seems that this Deadpool figure is also not going to get guns. No! Plenty of hand accessories, the iconic katanas, and a knife, but no guns? I mean, come on Bandai. How can you put the tagline saying, recreate your favorite moments from the film when you don't even give him guns? Don't do this to him. Don't do him dirty. There's still time. Fix this. Come on. Hashtag, give Wade his guns. Otherwise, the Legends figure would be an easy pick over this figure because the Legends figure has guns. So should you buy this figure? Well, if it doesn't come with guns and you already have the Legends figure, I'd say this would be an easy skip. But unless you're a big fan of Deadpool figures like me, then there is a huge dilemma there. Anyway, the pre-order is not up yet, so I'll update again in a post, but he is scheduled to come out in February 2022. Come on, Bandai. Plenty of time still. Before we close today's episode, I'd like to talk about another upcoming figure, this time from 3-0. They're working with Akinori Takaki, who is a sculptor, to come up with their version of Ultraman Zero. It's pretty much Ultraman Zero character with a little bit of oomph to go with your Ultraman Belial figure if you've already pre-ordered that figure. He comes with this robe material that you always see in movies with the desert scene. I mean they're so proud of this robe they snap three shots of it. The figure itself is up for interpretation. Some people may dig this look, some people may not. I for one am loving this look. I mean I'm a sucker for 3-0 figures and it looks like he'll come equipped with plenty of accessories for you to play with. However, there isn't any news on the price yet so stay tuned for that however it is scheduled for second quarter of 2022 release i'd definitely be interested in pre-ordering one but if the price is anything like the belial figure then i'd have to think twice if not thrice before hitting that pre-order button with that all said that concludes today's mini episode of should you buy let me know your thoughts about these figures in the comment section down below would you buy the deadpool figure are you digging three zeros ultraman zero look share it with me and as always thank you all very much for watching you know what to do to help support the channel and in the meantime have a great weekend take care like to see more videos like this one well say no more let me present to you the end screen click on video one or video two for more entertainment these videos were carefully selected by highly trained professionals to suit your entertainment needs. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you don't, I shall haunt you in your sleep. So click it! I was just kidding by the way. Okay, bye!